Je u chatu. Jo, je tolik, že? What's happening? My, I'm doing fine. Uh, busy day today, but now I'm technically and actually on holiday. Wait, my hair looks weird. That has not made it better. <laughs> no. I don't know, my hair is too long. I'm complaining about this since like a few months now, I guess. <laughs> For some reason it's not getting better. Yes, holiday. Holiday indeed. <laughs> but that's actually bad news for the stream <laughs> because uh, it also means that I won't be here for most of next week. Let's grow it out shoulder long. <laughs> Ooh, hot coffee. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. It's an it's currently this really inconvenient length, I would say. Where I can't really tie it together anyhow. And well not great, but um, we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, next week I'll be traveling. Actually starting from not, not next week, because it's already this week. Uh starting from tomorrow I'll be traveling until uh, Sunday evening, which means no streams between, probably no streams between tomorrow and Sunday, unfortunately. I'll post a bit on Discord or so, but yeah. Just so you know, I won't be, I'm not lost, I just intend to be on holiday. Perhaps there may be, maybe something in the evening or so, but probably not because I don't have any sort of equipment. I don't want a laptop stream. Yo, yep, here. Yo, see you Welcome, welcome. Ah. I'm fine for my part. Hope everyone else is as well. Um, I thought we would start today by looking at some open pull requests. I'm gonna do some work on Manim, I think, over the next few days, because I'm in the train a lot, and I, if there's one thing I really like for some reason is I, I really love working on my on my laptop in the train. It's, it's so I don't know. If I if I if I could, I would probably work from from the train all the time. <laughs> it's so soothing to do some stuff and then look outside and you're somewhere and it's it's kind of like the one thing that sucks kind of is, is internet most of the time and that's well not great for manim it's, it's kind of okay i can do most things at this point and i'm faster by looking up code locally than, than the documentation online anyways straight the tra train circles uh maybe maybe in back in austria i'll get one of these fancy unlimited uh one year tickets and then just drive around all the time. It would be fun. But then at the same time I'm really lazy so I probably won't do that and just sit at home. <laughs> this what that. that's what I think would happen. A road to hell is paved with good intentions. Oh, anyhow, so where did we stop recently? Uh, there was some PRs, we could merge some stuff. Should we press the button on some PRs, like this one? I can remember this one. Because I reviewed this last time I was streaming, like two days ago. Yesterday I, want to, I actually wanted to stream at some point, but I had 
internet issues throughout the entire day. It was really annoying. So this is nothing too exciting from a user point of view, but it's it's a slight performance improvement for uh, extra field, which is nice, I guess. Hmm. The one thing I need to check before we merge this is I need to fix the... I need to fix the thing. I used my ticket already so often, I managed to get double value out of it. Yo, not bad. Easy clap. I think it's really not... I think it's really not too hard to... to manage if you're, if you're moving around between cities a little bit. Maybe even between... Uh, provinces, then it certainly will get the money back rather soon. Wait, I can't. Is it because I've had it viewed? Probably. Um, so, what exactly does it change? It changes this here, which is a in what class is this? It's an error vector field. Ah, because it gets the arrows, right, right, right. So we should document that this is specifically for error vector field. So let's add it. Hello. Why is my browser broken today? There we go. Slight performance improvement for class arrow vector field. And PC computation, that's also true. How should we say that? Mm. But I don't think that this is actually measurable because the choose method uh, the choose function i think was was cached anyways and then this here is really not that different probably over the summer germany now offers nine euro month tickets for traveling with the train i saw that that's pretty cool actually that's pretty pretty cool I hope uh, they can resolve issues with uh, capacities. That's the one thing I'm slightly worried about, to be honest. Because I've read recently quite a, quite a bit of, of news from Austria alone that, that people are taking the train so much recently that uh, trains are very full always. But then again, I, I personally, I, I always try to get reservations, which works sometimes even. You want to actually, you know what actually annoys me here? This actually annoys me. Here there is the power operation without spaces and here it is with spaces. But if pre-commit commit, um, changes it like that, it, it, it has a reason. I just don't like the reason, I think. It's probably because there's a addition here and then. But this is really, it's so bad to read, I don't know. I don't like it. Anyhow. Anyhow. Um, what's in here? Oh, it's a slight uh, iterable thing. And this is just special casing the Bissier stuff. Hmm. A curve computation. I mean, that's probably okay. All right, updated, and now we hit the button. It's already approved. This will not. This won't. 
change anything that I just renamed the, the title. Just checks whether there is any dependency. Nope. And we merge. Yep. Easy merge. What was this? Ah, I remember that. It was the nice person that asked whether they can take care of this particular issue. Which one was it? Oh, wait. I can remember I opened that one recently. Oh, maybe not recently. No, wait, that was not the one that, that I opened recently. Uh, it's probably faster if I look through the Discord and see what the issue with the latest activity on it was. Not this one, 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 not this one. Where was this? This was not so long ago. This one. This one. Fifth of April. Okay, it's been a while. Uh, twenty-six fifty-seven. Wait, I can't see you guys. There you are. Just had the another window over my chat. What did I say? 26.57? Documentation of number plane should be something. Sounds good. Alright. Issue linked. Labels. Documentation. Because that's what it is, right? Yep. Let's look at the page that has changed. Where is it? Uh, graphing coordinate systems. Just to make sure that everything is all right but i reviewed this already so it probably is fine where's the documentation there it is bum, bum, bum. reference menu you know what i would like to change i would like to change this page here because i think it's terrible the actual landing page i think it's actually not good there should be a summary of of what is where and yo should we do that today should we should we overthrow the, the existing structure of the documentation once more and clean up a little bit. I feel like doing that right now. Because the other option would be I could sit down and, 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 and write a few paragraphs uh, for the thing, but I'm, I'm really... I don't know. I, I, I wrote so much stuff today that I don't want to write more. Do you know that feeling? Sometimes I, I... When there's days where I... When there's days where I... Do a lot of, of, of writing on article or so. Or work on, on some other playtech thing. Then I... At some point I just feel like... I, I, I have given everything I can in terms of writing. There's a, there's a natural limit in that at some point I just can't write anymore. And if it's like today where I, uh, over the day, wrote quite a bit, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, I feel like exhausted in the evening. I'm familiar with the feeling. I hope you don't get it from chat. <laughs> Uh, yo, I feel like I feel like we can we can propose some changes here and maybe even move uh, the tutorials out and stuff. Only from serious writing, luckily. What do you mean? Writing in chat is not serious. <laughs> I think it's time for a good landing page for our documentation. So I'll I'll propose something, I guess.
but they're sadly after like three paragraphs already. I know that feeling as well. <laughs> Sometimes writing is really hard. This is so exhausted from writing, it's actually ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, I can relate very well. Writing is exhausting. could program for like 12 hours straight writing is so hard for me yeah, it's not unnatural not unnatural i think okay 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 so i feel like i feel like we, we will we will sit down and do something about this we could even investigate we could even investigate for parts of the documentation whether we could whether we can and should change from the Default REST syntax to um, Markdown. I can also investigate that because I feel like some some parts, especially like uh, tutorials or, or like short recipes, might be con more convenient to write in in Markdown, and and people might be more accessible for people. So if we if we investigate that, that could work. Okay, so obviously today is a documentation stream. Obviously. I'm ready. I'm ready for documentation. Wait, but what were we doing um, before I decided that this is now a documentation stream? Right, we wanted to check this. Uh, where was this? Coordinate systems, I remember. Brain still working. Good. Reference manual. Uh, objects. Graphing. Coordinate systems. And where was it there? Number plane, must have been this. Okay, there's now a number plane example, which is this. Okay, I guess. And then there's a number plane scale, which is this. Again, okay, I guess. Wait, it's a new example. We should look at that a bit more careful. Uh... Make it larger so you can help me look. What do you think, chat? This is a good example. Scaled number plane, define construct. Number plane is a number plane object. We set the x and y range. So this range is from minus 4 to 11, which means it's 15 long. Set the x length 5, so it's a third. Minus three to three, so this is also set to third. Okay, so this is scaled by a factor of one third. And then we move it to left. And the right one, same, but the Y length is stretched. I think that's a good example. Can it illustrates well it illustrates well that the effect that setting the Y length has. And I also think that, 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 well, this is basically fine. The one thing I would probably do different uh, is I would probably um, add both mob plates in one add call and not have two separate ones. But I think that's nitpicking. I'm, I'm not, I'm not blocking this over, over such a small thing. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy we edit the title. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We didn't check the note. Uh, this one is new or changed. If X length or Y length are not defined, they are automatically calculated such that one unit on each axis is one manim unit long. Is it clear what that means? Why is it so tiny? You know, like scale everything up by a factor of 10,000? I think yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Wait, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, Manning unit, screen, screen unit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's the dimensions of the scene. Uh, so. The default measurements are like uh, I always forget eight units high, and then and then whatever eight times sixteen over nine is uh, in in width. 
these are these are referred to as manim units sometimes in like three places in the code and yeah eight times 14 yeah, yeah exactly it's it's eight by uh, 14 plus one ninth or something like that no 14 plus two nine two ninths because uh the the radius is seven plus is seven plus one ninth that, that i remember actually <laughs> At some point, I would really, really like to change the default measurements of the scene to nine to six, uh, to um, nine units high and sixteen units wide, and I don't have to do this math every time I I, I change something here. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm happy with this. We can rename the thing. Edit note on. Uh, Plus number plane length and ed edited node on class number plane length and edit another example. Good. Save labors. What's that? Documentation? Doc documentation. Wait. It says none yet, but it was ticked. Are you fooling me? It, it, it was fooling me. My browser seems brick today. I don't know why. Kinda is annoying. All right. Linked issue is there. Check is there. We enable auto merge and hit the update branch button. Easy. Okay, good. Check. One more thing done. Next. So this was this one here. Um, this one here is already approved, so we might just merge that. I did not look at... Oh wait, I did look at that, I think. This replaces empty spans, right? And this is an issue apparently of pigments, which I did not know that we had. Um, empty span at the beginning of the highlight since 211. <laughs> and this was closed. Changing current, <clears throat> changing the current implementation is not worth the trouble. Okay, then we merge this and be happy with it. Wait, this was merged. Close. Um, what does it do? There's even a test. Even better. Lovely. Labors. So I guess this is a bug fix. Is there an issue for that? No, probably not. Okay, then we say nice, say thank you again. Uh, thank you for your contribution. Smiley. We approve. The tests pass. The tests are also in the correct file. Test code object. Ah, it's a new file. I guess that's fine. Oh, technically, we wouldn't need to do an import like this, but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. We have to clean up our test, uh, our tests, anyways, at some point. So. Whatever. And this here probably can't do anything too bad. Uh, if it does, we will we'll get someone who complains about it. E Wait, I already approved it, right? Just did that. 
Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, uh, and we merge. Enable auto merge and update. GG, easy. Next. I'm. We're in the flow right now, chat. Ah, this was this one. I think there is there might be a response that I need to read. This. Uh, let's do that a little bit later. I kind of want to do the stuff with the documentation first before I continue doing more extensive things. I should finally take care of the Docker thing. Jesus. Um... Let's do it like this. I'll assign myself. Then I forget. Then I maybe don't forget. Okay, easy. Um, migrate. This was recently reviewed, I think. Add a new troubleshooting guide. What was with this one? Alright, this was this one upgraded NumPy. Uh it should be safe, I guess. Safe. Wait. Oh, it's a merge conflict. Ah, that was probably some yeah, if there's a change in poetry lock, then we have to resolve that manually. Okay, we might do that later as well. Just because I feel lazy with that stuff right now. And... Vector field added fit to coordinate system. Uh, is there a test as well, perhaps? No. That's for vector field, right? Yeah. Scale the vector field to fit the coordinate system. Mm -hmm. There's a dimension parameter in the documentation but not possible This parameter is documented, but not used, question mark. Uh, otherwise, this is probably fine. Uh, the default one just takes the coordinate system. Wait, it applies self.apply function, which means there's a function that applies to the vector field. And every position is mapped to the corresponding position in the coordinate system. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Good. Uh, fit coordinate system, self coordinate system. There's a matrix. Wait, what, which one is that one? It's kind of hard to say without looking at. Get vector. This is probably for the vector row field stuff. Right? Right? Arrow vector field, yes. Um, why is this different? And should it also have documentation? How is it if, if uh, 
How does it work if an, if an overwritten method does not have its own documentation? It's just a documentation. I can look that up actually. In an ideal world, it would just use the existing one. Oh, there were examples. Nice, we can look at stuff. There are two alternative sort uh, for error vector. So one uses apply function, and two uses manual transform, which only rotates and translates. That was a that's an actually nice one, I like that. Look at that chat. Give L1 CS full screen. Yo I like how it centers it first to the coordinate system and then it moves everything with the coordinate system. That's pretty cool! That's pretty fancy. Uh, I don't know if it's coming for the usage of streamlines, but the apply function might not work correctly in the OpenGL render. Yeah, that's maybe a story for another day. Okay, I think, I mean, from the looks of it, this is okay. Uh, what did I want to check? I remember, I wanted to check whether... Sorry for all the scrolling. Uh, if we render a method is... Objects, a vector field. So it's document, the documented version is in the parent class in vector field. And if we look at an inherited version, which would be like here, and look at the fit to coordinate system one, then it keeps the documentation. That's pretty good. So this one also has documentation. That's very nice, actually. I'm sure I've seen this before and, and perhaps even used this behavior, but it's nice to... to well, become aware of it again. So if we have a function, we only need to document it for the parent class if the parameters don't change and stuff. Good. Okay. Ah, I really like these vector field functions and animations. That's also a nice stream starting thing. I generally like a screensaver. Getting a bit dizzy? <laughs> Let me close it down then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is also fancy. Wait, but let's look, look at those. All these animations remind me of the movement of electrons in the field. Yeah, I guess they that's visualized in a very similar way usually. Um, okay, we, we checked the thing about the documentation I wanted to see, so I'm fine with not uh, with these methods here not having dedicated documentation, but this is still to be resolved. For the streamlines, the apply function is applied to all sub objects. That's curious because I would have thought that this. For the vectors, I believe that 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 is a little bit more complicated with the apply function thing because I don't think the vectors would be, behave uh, correctly, except if are only on the base of, uh, basis of pretty animations. <laughs> I have done that before. 
I have done that before. If there are pretty animations and if there are tests, then I'm likely to accept it without reading the code too, too well. <laughs> But who can blame me? I mean, chat can, definitely. Now that I think of it. Uh, but you guys wouldn't, right? You wouldn't do that. So wait, I should perhaps also read the description of the PR before I do anything. Uh, this pull request adds a function which takes a vector field and transform its point, transforms its points. There are two alternatives how this could be implemented by for error vector field. Method one uses apply function which scales everything to fit the coordinate system. And blah blah. Okay. My first idea was to have an unimplemented version of vector field such that subclasses error vector field and could implement their own behavior. After further, after further investigation, it became clear that the apply function version is very versatile. Ah, because the arrows are scaled as well. Okay. You are like airplane sounds right over my head. They usually are not that close. It's kind of weird. Um, it's probably almost loud enough that uh, my mic picks it up. Not quite, maybe. It's really distracting though. <laughs> You didn't hear anything, Chad, right? Or did you hear the airplane? No, I thought so. Can't hear it, but I can't wear my headphones right now, so... <laughs> Alright. Um... Oh, that's the code for the thing. Uh, depending on which implementation is better suited in general, it's good to have a function which aligns vectors to the coordinate system. There's still an error when using the OpenGL renderer. Eh, shame. Okay, what do we say? What do we say? Um, I mean, the apply function thing is very, very versatile. That's actually true. And I think that it might even be able. It's it it's. It might be possible to pass keyword arguments to apply function, which are then passed to the function itself. So it it would actually be very, very versatile. Um, let me check whether it's true. Apply function. Cell function keyword arguments. Um, apply function about points, lambda points, and the keyword arguments are passed separately, right? Cell function. Ah, but this doesn't take any additional keyword arguments, does it? No. But still, wait, why would you need that? Doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um...
Why does it scale though? Ah, because the points are moved, and if the points move, then the arrows are also move. Wait. Wait. Is there. Where's the code for this? I'm curious now. Number plane? What's this? This one? I want. What do I want? The first one, I think. Just to check. Um, let's take the first one. Go to my example file. It's my trusty example file. There it is. Uh, we add this here, and then we have to switch to the branch. What's the PR number? Twenty-seven twenty-eight. Can we remember that for a moment? A PR check out. 2728. Oh, uh, your Felix. How's life? What's happening? I envy you for the climate in Uppsala right now. How is it in? How is it in Austria? It's it's nice up here. I would say. <laughs> Hot. Ugh. Yikes. Uh, it has been it has been very warm like a few days ago here as well, but not too bad. So last uh, Uppsala is looking nice uh, is looking nice temperature wise right now. It it really is. I'm sitting here and I have the window open and I am not dying, so <laughs> Last week here has been really hot too. Ooh. Uppsala would be a perfect climb for me. Well, come to Uppsala. It's nice here. But it's supposed to be a bit warmer soon. I plan to someday. I can definitely recommend it. I can definitely recommend the city. It's very, very chill here. Uh, what was I doing? Right, 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 right. So we have this updated PR, which I... I've made changes to Cairo Renderer? What? What have I done? Oh, we throw it away. Why? Let's schedule a trip to the land of better weather. You'll be very welcome. Um, the land of better weather awaits. Why am I so slow in my... No, no, okay. Uh, my name QMP example. Uh, Vec field. Let's see what this is. Let me just confirm that I. Ah, oh, yeah, my key bindings are broken. That's that's what I like to see. Uh, one moment. Just can't compromise important information. It's rendering. One moment. I just don't know on which desktop it's the, the thing is gonna open and there might be things open that I should not. Leak. There we go, okay. It was actually the right screen. So wait, is my thing actually broken? Yeah, it is, okay. One day I will find out why, what, what what happens to my key bindings? They keep breaking. Okay, so this is... I don't even know what this is. This is a, this is the method for... What exactly? I didn't even read the code. Uh, 3D access... 
y-axis field is an error vector field. So this is now the implementation for error vector field, I guess. Field animate fit to coordinate system 3D axis. Yeah, 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 exactly. And for 3D axis, vector field. Uh, class arrow vector field. There is somewhere. Get vector fit to coordinate system. Okay, so this is the thing that did not use this apply function thing. What would happen if it did that? I'm curious now. I just delete it. And we re-render. Perhaps with disable caching. We won't tell anyone they want the what might work, however. What can be deleted? Okay, okay, okay. So if we use the apply to method thing, then the arrows get scaled down. And now the question is, can we somehow make sure that it doesn't happen? And I think we can. I think we can And now we need to look at the uh, at the thing again. It to coordinate system. This calls apply function and this just maps the coordinates. Wait, and what does apply function do exactly? It scales, handle stuff. Super apply function. Makes move afterwards. And this one does what? Apply long axis function. I'm kind of curious why the arrows shrink. I'm not sure I see why that's happening. During my stream a few days ago, I uh, accidentally started blasting a song which would totally result in DMCA takedown. Feels bad. It's only annoying if you have to edit out the bot and stuff. It's it's if if I mean you can you can unlist the the bot and you should be fine. Did, didn't think I pressed anything, but if I just decided to start, yeah, I know that that's annoying. That's annoying when that happens. I think actually it has happened to me and my stream before as well. It's whenever I whenever I listen to music uh, outside of streaming, I disable the uh, where's the thing. There's this uh, repeat thing that I usually disable when I when I. Uh, when I listen to music outside of streaming. And then it starts playing random songs. And I sometimes I forget to turn it on before I start streaming. But then, well, it starts playing random songs. So I'm kind of confused now about this. Disaster? Ah, it's not so bad. I can 
I, I can live with nuking the bot and um, if it's really something important then I then I whenever I record stuff locally I have the uh, desktop audio in a separate track anyway so I can if it's really important I can just throw it away or throw that part away and replace it. I recently, I recently started um, for some of the for some of my old playthroughs. I started to because uh, some things that I that I that I played are now over uh, a month, two months ago, sixty days, thirty days. I can't remember what the limit is. So Twitch starts deleting the the old watts. Um, I now I've created the. A separate channel on, on YouTube where I just uh, export all of the the watts to so that they're at least saved somewhere. It's kind of yeah, I don't know, not the greatest solution, but whatever. At least they're stored somewhere. So here's my question: Is it really necessary to have a separate implementation of all of this? Ah, uh, if we don't want to scale the things, I, I see. Hmm. So in terms of in terms of keeping it simple, I'd I'd be a very I would appreciate it if we did not have to use separate implementations for uh, all of the different uh, types of, of, of vector fields. But I can see the point why it might make sense. Um, did not check locally, just out of curiosity there's no you in there there's no you in there uh, just out of curiosity is is this loop really required wouldn't uh, the super wouldn't the apply function strategy from the parent class also work correctly question mark um i can see the point of this second implementation but I am not sure I like, I really like uh, that there has to be a so different and more complex implementation when the apply function approach from the parent class also does the job. I I guess it all depends on how difficult it is to change the style of the arrows um, when they are fitted to a coordinate system. It should be possible to disable this weird scaling behavior somehow. Is this actually true? <laughs> or am I just making stuff up right now? I think it's true. Let me check. Um, line. Arrow. Because what I know is that arrows have a separate scale method. Which scales the tips? Ah, oh, but this 
is perhaps not great because it this is the wait but this, this has nothing to do with scaling the tips i think the question is what happens when you apply a function a transformation to an arrow so like a coordinate wise transformation and why would if we change the length of the arrow why would the arrowhead change its size as well and can we disable that behavior that's what i would like to know and i think the answer to that is yes uh, somehow with one of these with the max tip length to length ratio maybe but it might require iterating over our arrows and setting one of their uh, with max length to whatever uh, ratios correctly. Add comment and I think with that I am done here. Do I request changes? No, I think I just comment. I could approve actually. Should I? Oh, there was one thing. No, actually this is request changes. Wait, I should have, I should have, well, said something nice as well. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I can still do something. Um, uh, so thanks for implementing this. I think it is a very useful and welcome addition. Okay. Easy, easy clap. All right. Are we done with PRs now? Do we change to documentation mode and, and, and change everything? Let's go for it. I think this is the thing that I want to do today. This is the thing I want to do today. Let's go chat. Are you ready? I'm ready. Git check out main. Git. Wait, what? I've made changes. Oh, right. It's card. Git check out main. Git pull. Easy, easy clap. Uh, git check out minus B. Uh, improve doc structure. All right, there we go. We can already switch to the docs folder because that's where we will work now. Okay, here's my point. Here is my point. Let me show you guys. I think that this here is not great. So A, this is not great. B, I mean, that's kind of okay, the, 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 the index of, of documentation pages. But what I do think is we should explain where, th where people can find what sort of information in our documentation. There is one uh, project which I, where I recently um, well, consciously looked at how they do things, and that's uh, Django. Sorry for the. Do they have a dark mode? Probably not. No, you have to suffer with me through this. Sorry. Um, and what I really liked about Django and its documentation was that it's very, very clear. You have a first step section. It explains. These pages are the ones you're looking for if, if you're if you're new to the pro uh, new to the project. There's a section on getting help. There's a section on how this documentation is organized. But this is all very very clear and structured, and you immediately know um, well where to, where you have to look to 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 continue working with the library, I guess. And I kind of want to mimic that for Manim. 
So these, these this here is, is uh, specific to Django and, and already more into like the reference manual itself. I don't want to do that, but I, I do want to have a first step section. I do want to have a getting help section and I do want to have uh, how this documentation is organized. I think that's also that also makes sense to have. It would be nice if we did something to our FAQ as well, because right now Manim has a Manim has a, a page with with something somewhere. I'm not even sure I can find it right now. Which probably explains why it's not great. Is there there's a troubleshooting thing somewhere? I, I know that. At least there was at some point. Wait, I've seen this today already. It has to be somewhere here. There it is. There's a troubleshooting page which has, but it's it's well, perhaps it's kind of specific to um, it's not kind of specific to the documentation because this here is is something completely different, completely different. So here's what we should do. Here's what we should do. Um, new docs. Step one, uh, rewrite content on docs landing page. That's like, uh, this is be somewhere index dot h and dot rst yeah this one that's the first step we changed it or maybe that's actually not the first step that's that's uh, after we've done all the, the other rearranging so let's put question mark step actual first step what's the actual first step the first step could be what else don't I like where do we have to change the structure uh, here I don't like that there's an internal structure thing that, that just is an empty page that's kind of I don't know insulting <laughs> remove internal structure empty internal structure page easy first step we can do that we could do it right now but let's 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 keep looking at, at what else we should uh, do do we need a dedicated reporting box page or would it be fine to have that somewhere else? Should that be like a section on the main landing page or is that too specific? I mean, what even is here? You've encountered something that you believe is a bug, please report, uh, follow the following steps. First of all, make sure you're running the latest version of Manim. Search for other users who have had similar issues in the past. Search for repositories issue page. Bring it up on Discord server. Use sites like Stack Overflow and exercise your best practices. If you can't find anything helpful, go to the next step. Can reproduce the issue. That is, you have some code that illustrates, clarify what behavior you expect and how the actual behavior differs from expectation. Guard information and environment. Uh, please. There's. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, four, seven. <laughs> Why is this mislabeled? Whatever. Please open an issue only after you've gathered uh, in this information. When submitting an issue, make sure you follow the template. Community member will hopefully respond. That's kind of bad to have on the, on the documentation pages as well. Maybe someone will respond to it at some point. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we could we could we could Im improve this. <laughs> Please give the community a reasonable amount of time before asking again or uh, insisting on the issue. Uh, keep in mind everyone is a volunteer. If you wait for a reasonable amount of time and you wait, no response, feel free to ask again. Maybe this page survives the first round. Maybe this page is okay. Plugins. 
that page is fine as well. The reference manual has to stay, the changelog has to stay. The changelog could honestly um, be rearranged below the reference manual because actually the reference manual is more important. The example gallery is nice but very unstructured and I actually don't like it. I don't know what to do with it. Um, it can probably stay at this point, but I, I, I don't like how... I don't like what this page does. Or the way it does it. I, I'm fine with showing off some animations, that's good, but... I'm not sure I like it in the way it, it is currently presented. I do like, in general, the installation stuff. That's good, I think. I think the installation stuff is good. Um, mostly, at least. I don't like the troubleshooting pages in here. I think the troubleshooting page should become a dedicated um, FAQ, which we have instead of internal structure, because it makes more sense anyways. Um, create new subsection, new section, FAQ. Would FAQ be a, its own section or would it be part of something else? Because the other thing I would like to change is the tutorial section. The tutorial section, in my opinion, currently doesn't really do the thing it's 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 what it's supposed to do. And what I particularly like about sorry, flashbang again. What I particularly like about the um, example with with Django was that they have a dedicated distinction between tutorials, which actually means hand holding the user and guiding them until they produce their animations and something like topic guides which I feel like um, something like something like the say using text thing or also the configuration thing um, are not because those are not tutorials in the sense that that you start on the top and then you work through it and in the end you have something nice. That's not that's not how this what this is. So my proposal would be to split the tutorial section into one section, um, say thematic guides and basically just do it the way Django does it. There's one actual tutorial section which means hand holding and the topic guides which explain or which 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 uh, treat dedicated topics and one topic could be for example uh, text rendering with with text and, and tech and another one could be a deep dive into the internals of the library because that's certainly not a tutorial it's not hand holding and in the end there's a nice animation it's, it's not what it is So I think I want to do that. There's a, the question is, what really do we need here on the in the sidebar? Installation I think is fine. Tutorials could either be its separate thing, or it could be um, a container thing which has tutorials and guides, say. And then you unfold and then you have one uh, category tutorials and one category guides, for example. The example gallery is, well, the example gallery. It's there. The changelog could wander down a little bit more, but it has to stay in the sidebar. Same goes for the reference manual. I actually think the reference manual should go closer to tutorials and the guides. Because um, conceptually, these are things where you go to find information about the library, specific things about the library. Plugins, 
probably should stay like this. Probably should stay like this, yes. Internal structure is gone. I still think we have too many... I still think we have too many items here, to be honest. Hmm. We could move the code of conduct into contribu uh, into contributing and rename contributing to like, I don't know, community or... I mean the code of conduct is actually important. I get the feeling that perhaps reporting bugs might die. Because I don't see us winning anything otherwise. But I do want to make this a little bit shorter. Where else would you put information about reporting bugs? Is this like a thing where we should uh, have a better... Wait, how exactly are these created, these categories? It's like here, issue template, right? There's an about field, wait. Can we perhaps just put more information here? How long can this be? This can probably be long. I kind of want to do that. Move more stuff here in the in the about field. And then this would show how exactly. When we create a new issue. Ah, it's here in the subtitle, so it, it probably can't be very long, or it shouldn't be very long, because people don't read. Okay, let's think about let's think about the bugs later and start doing something. New section FAQ, uh, three split uh, tutorials into tutorials. And just guides or thematic guides. Mm. What's the exact wording for Django? Careful flashbang. Ugh. Topic guides. They call it topic guides. Should we just yoink that? Voice guides self explanatory now. I do want to have those in separate categories, so I don't want to create, I don't want to just relay, rename uh, the tutorial section to tutorials and uh, guides. I do want to have two separate ones, but those could be collected in a, in a, in a joint one and probably be fine. This one actually goes last. Four, remove reporting bugs. 
We could replace the, re the long reporting box um, section with something that's significantly shorter. And on the landing page of the... And on the landing page of the documentation. Perhaps add short formation to doc landing page. Where would the FAQ section go? Would that also be part of the tutorials? No, it wouldn't. An FAQ is not a tutorial, right? But would it be part of the guide section, maybe? than I thought. What should be the order? What should be the order of things? Uh, let me check. So if we look at this, if we look at installation. What do we have here? This troubleshooting page can be moved. Um, so we have installation. Installation. Tutorials. Example gallery. Change log. Reference manual. Plugins, reporting bugs, internal structure, which we will remove, contributing and code of conduct. So, if we rearrange things, then I would say I would probably put. Installation can can stay on top. What if we move the example gallery to the top? I still don't like the page, but I mean, it's perhaps better to have that on top. Then we can have installation. Tutorials would be split into tutorials and guides. So this would read like this. Then I would put the reference manual. Then we can put plugins. Then the change log. Internal structure is gone. Reporting bugs is gone. Change log contributing code of conduct. I think I like that. Wait, there's a. But where's the FAQ now? Where do, we, where, we, where do we put the FAQ? Is that inside guides? I could live with that. So in here we would have one section tutorials, one section guides, one section FAQ. Reference manual is uh, structured as, as usual, installation also, as usual, example gallery doesn't have any structure. Sedge. Plugins doesn't have structure. I think that's fine. Any thoughts from you guys? I think we could do it like that.
let's start moving stuff around. Looks good, I think. I'm not unhappy with this. Okay. Okay, so there should be Take a look at the example gallery for some inspiration on how to create beautiful images and videos with money. Money community overview. So there should be a separate section now. There should be separate sections on all different things from the documentation. So the first one does mention the example gallery. Wait, how does Django do it? First steps from scratch overview and installation. Then there's this tutorial, then there are advanced tutorials. It's very clean, I have to say. I like that. I'll write it as a to-do here, and then maybe come back to it in a bit. Uh, so that would be like one section. Why does it say Manim Community Overview? Should we change that as well? Where is that? How is that rendered exactly? Oh, it's actually here. Instead of Manum Community Overview, should it just say Manum Community Edition, maybe?
um, move it to contributing. And then we have what? Then we have first steps. Um, getting help. To do. And then we have... I mean, getting help, maybe finding help. Well, I don't know. We can change it later. And then... The third thing would be what? It would be... What does Django say? How the documentation is organized. Navigating the documentation. Oh, this is... This is, this is pretty blunt plag plagiarism what I'm doing right now. <laughs> But I think it they do this very well and I, I think I think they wouldn't mind. Navigating this documentation. Note that. It's a compliment to them? Kinda. To do. And then there could be... What do we do with this paragraph here? We'd love to, to hear from you and see your animations on Twitter, Reddit. This could be sharing... Sharing your work. Thanks, Copilot. Sharing your work. And then this down here is index. Easy clap. Easy clap. Okay. All right, now what? Now we have to change the structure. Okay, where is the thing? Uh, tutorials. There should be a tutorials thing somewhere here, right. If we rename this to tutorials and guides. Then this one thing can st just stay. Wait, how do I do it properly? I probably need to move stuff around. Okay, let's let's go move stuff. Um, wait, I should that cleanly in one commit, otherwise we we mess things up. Wait, is it rendering the the head? What are you doing? Actually, I should probably clean up my example scenes folder first before I do anything. But I don't want to. This stays as it is right now. Um... So... Wait, 
Wait, the... Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we need to refactor already. Well, this will be a bit annoying, actually. This will be a bit annoying. Uh, let's make a new one, which is called Tutorials... Or let's, let's rename Tutorials to Tutorials Guides. Which would mean that we go... Uh, tutorials.rst. We would move git move tutorials rst to tutorials guides rst done and then I should commit this Rename to tutorial. No, we move tutorials. Tutorials guide. Doesn't matter. Trails and guides. much singing. I can't concentrate when someone is singing in my ear. Okay, now this is called Tutorials and Guides and essentially this should have again three subcategories. There should be tutorials, there should be guides and there should be the FAQ. Which would mean that save this, we rename, actually rename the title, uh, change title in tutorials guides, nope that was wrong, no, cancel, what did I just do, but that's annoying now. Then okay, the unclean files actually annoy me now. Should I fix it? Nah, I have to stay strong. Just look at somewhere else. Um But it actually is fine. We can have a, just a separate guides folder. Uh, dear guides. And then we have a third folder, FAQ. And then we just have three folders and that's fine. And inside of tutorials, there should be an index in which Wait, what am I doing right now? No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. So this here would be tutorial slash indexed um then Guides slash index and what's the third one? FAQ dot slash index. And this here can go away. And instead we go and create a new file in tutorials index rst.
and then index tutorials are the we paste the thing from before I should paste it a little bit more And now this is dedicated for tutorials. And guess what's not a tutorial? The quick start one is a tutorial, I would say. Quick start is a tutorial that can stay. We should rework that at some point though. Um, Manim's buildings block. Manim's building. Manim's buildings. Manim's building blocks. Why is that so complicated? I feel like that this can probably be disassembled. And lots of things can be redistributed here. It's recommended to read Quick Start and the Deeper Look before reading this page. What does the Deeper Look do? That's the configuration stuff. No, 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 no. We rename the Deeper Look one to say... Um, output files or something like that and then I would be okay with keeping it as a tutorial I guess so a deeper look uh, tutorials git move in tutorial uh deeper look should be renamed so that the name just i don't know makes more sense um and let's call it what exactly do we do here this document will focus on understanding manim's output files and some of the main command line flags available Should we call it output and config or something like that? Output and config RST. Output and config. still here oh this file doesn't exist anymore don't save goodbye whatever whatever but ah that was the file i renamed the original version of that okay okay i lost that um read tutorials a deeper look that's not a deep look anymore. That will be to the ah, but the PO file. Oh, the translations will all be messed up. That's not good. Well, I'll I'll continue renaming things until 
until we get somewhere and then maybe we change stuff again. We'll see, we'll see. I'll think about it. Uh, how did I rename it? Output and config. Quick start configuration. Okay. Renamed the deeper look. That was kind of painful to be honest. That's just an easy change. Yikes. Index RST for tutorials. Yeah, we add this. But probably, wait, I probably don't need the tutorials directory here. I should try to render it actually. Output and config. Uh, change doc and uh, change tutorial rename uh, deeper look output and config the following file is unsafe changes index rst the partitions one saved there I think and is that actually complete because I can't remember Oh, the power font is broken. The power line font is broken again. But you know what? Just need to insert one thing. Should be fine, right? We'll survive. Okay, and with that, I think the file should be complete. I could have just copied the entire file again. Uh, 
I mean the old the old version is is uh, under version control anyway, so why why don't I just copy the entire thing? Uh, example scenes partitions to manim content twenty oh four partitions copy. Uh, and now I'm curious. It was just a thumbnail. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Okay. Then this is there and we can remove it from here. Goodbye. Um, I have... Euler Glacier and Sources. Glacier is there. Euler is there. And the Sources file is something else. Sorry, chat, that you have to witness me cleaning up now. Uh, but I feel like it, I should do this because it will make things easier. Um, so what else? Manim sketches. Is the fern in here? No. Why would it be, right? Move. Uh, Manim example scenes the fern can definitely go there because it's also a complete thing i think yeah uh to here fern gone easy uh what was for you that was something i think that i can delete because i posted it on discord anyways yep delete uh, the fractals. I never finished that. Oh. I'll keep that for now and maybe we'll get to it back later. That's my toy example. I do need that for... I actually don't need that anymore. Because we don't really need to run the debugger anymore. And if if I really want to run the debugger again, I can just recreate the file. So goodbye. Tree. What does tree do? Oh, I remember. I should finish that at some point. Um, uncover tree pie. Tree gone, toy gone. These files in the sub directory I certainly only made because I wanted to check something so I can definitely just go remove xx gone easy <laughs> there's a file uh, that was for a question on the server deleted easy my trusty example file which I can recreate at any point Ah, there's the create with sound thing in there, actually. You know what? I'll keep that. I like that one. Uh, that's what I have the sketches thing for, anyways. Why don't they use a separate terminal? I'm, I feel so stupid. Uh, code my name sketches create with sound pi paste right all right now I can remove this part and that down there I think is just stuff from the server that I use yeah so I can actually delete this file now goodbye I need to move the beep. Manim example scenes beep to the sketches one. Okay. Bug. This is something I this is something I couldn't I, I fixed already, so it's not even a bug anymore. Delete. Easy. 
Cybertruck can certainly live in the sketches one. Manim example. Cybertruck can live in Manim sketches. The dragon can live in Manim sketches as well. I remember that that did not work. I wanted to try something. I know that I, did, I have this file like 10,000 times, don't need it. Dike paths. Oh, I think that's my, that's my current um, intro thing. Yo, we are almost done with cleaning up. Cool, right? Uh, my name, example, scenes, dike paths. That's my starting screen, I think. Uh, my name is Kitches. Good. And then we have E04 and E05, but I have this code. I'm sure I have all of the code that I have in there in Jupyter Notebooks in my repository thing, right? Uh, ETC. Yo, Icarus Kid is, has some good music indeed. Uh, Manim. Where is that? Git. ETC. Manim of East. Ah, there it is. MIDI. Wait, what? Oh, it's CD. Wait, just one like this. Yeah. Four or five, they are there, so I can just remove those. Delete, delete. Super Mario Galaxy was one of my favorite games of all time. It was really good. Did something change? I stepped away for a moment and I came back to my phone. Now Twitch made me verify my phone number before chatting. I didn't change that. I don't get it, at least. That's kind of weird. I know that it asks me as well sometimes um, to give them a phone number, but I usually just refuse. And that was my fractal stuff. So this was... Oh, the dragon was, was in here at some point. Fun. The dragon can certainly... I mean, I have a separate file for that one already. Don't need the rotation matrix thing. Uh, and that was... Yeah, that was the, the Sipinski gasket. So let's move that as well. Move... Manim... Example scenes... Frack... Pi... To Manim Sketches Sierpinski Pipe. Move. And I don't really care about the performance file. I can recreate it anytime. Within time if I want to. Good. Okay. Clean working directory. Look at that chat. Look at that. I knew it was possible. All right, we go. It's go time now. Where were we? Need to close all of my stuff because now I get confused. Oh God, there's so many tabs. Why do I have so many tabs open? All right, we did it. Good. Where were we? I forgot completely. We were at tutorial guides, right? This one. So I need a guides directory. I need a FAQ directory. And I think I created those already. Is that possible? Um, yes. So we need to create 
index files in each of them. CD guides touch index RST uh, CD FAQ touch index RST then we take this thing and we need at least one page for each of them otherwise it looks bad otherwise it looks bad so what I want to do is index uh, tutorials that's the FAQ one frequently asked questions blah, 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 blah. there we go paste the thing table of contents and then we should have at least one in here we could split our we could split our FAQ into the different we should perhaps do that even uh, there should be different categories for FAQ questions or should we hmm I wonder I haven't thought this through yet So empty and you feel agoraphobia. True. You know what we could put here? We can put the, the versions thing here. Uh, let me put something in here for now. Git move. Where is it? Installation versions, yes. Move it to here. Then we have something in here. Good. There we go. Finally, it's referenced somewhere. One warning less that we have when generating the documentation. Yo, there will be so many warnings now. Because I moved lots of stuff around. Um... And the guides one. Right, and there we need to move some, some stuff. Up. So, we decided that quick start, output, and config are okay to keep. What certainly can go is configuration and using text. So, I wanna move. Let's move into the guides directory and then let's move. Um, tutorials using text should go in the guides thing and same for configuration right because those if we look at if we look at what these things contain then this one is actually really only concerned with um, the configuration and not really so much with that's, that's more that's more answering very specific questions about the, the configuration and the command line interface and not so much about And not so much about the whatever. It's not. A, it's not. I would. I wouldn't say that's a tutorial. That's the point. That's the point. Okay. So we have the deeper look one, which is not called the deeper look anymore. We have the quick start one, which is okay. What's Manim's building blocks? It's like a general overview over the architecture. And I feel like that that could stay, but it should probably be parts of 
parts of that should probably be um, moved. So for example, this one here, creating a custom, a custom animation. Um, I think this one, including the example, should be moved to uh, the FAQ section, for example, because that, that's rather something that you would find there, right? How to create your own custom animation. And now the question only is, can we have on the page, can we have a list of questions that don't destroy the layout of the sidebar? Because that's the one thing I'm kind of worried about if we, if we, if I start categorizing things now somehow that the sidebar will perhaps be destroyed in some way. But I mean, that's, that's perhaps a separate issue then. And for these FAQ things, I would kind of like to investigate whether it's it's feasible to uh, change the formatting to Markdown so that it's easier to quickly contribute something. Because I think many people... That's a thing that has come up before again and again. Oh, there's a thing we might have to answer. Um, okay. There's a thing we might want to answer. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll create a separate um, file for this creating a custom animation section for now and then, and then Keep the rest of it because this was always a little bit odd that it was just sitting in in this in this uh, in this file here. And then we have something that's that's in there. The the, the, the I'm not sure how to categorize uh, frequently uh, the, the the FAQ yet. We'll have to find that out as well. I could probably just. I guess we can kind of automate this. Could have a few different directories in the FAQ folder and then whenever someone adds a new document in there, it should automatically be added to the to the index as well. well it should not be too hard, right? So here's what I, what I imagine. Uh, if we go to the... wait. Let's finish the guides thing first up and then I'll, I'll start the next thing with the FAQs. Um, so we should index RST in the F... in the guides thing. This should look more or less the same as for the FAQ. And then we can say thematic guides here. There should probably be a short paragraph explaining what it is, but well. And then we can just reference. Can I reference everything from the current directory, which is not the file itself? Does this work? You know what, I'll just try. I'll just try and we'll see. Let's see in how far uh, REST will now shout at me. I fear this will be heavy. <laughs> uh, clean R. Make HTML. O equals minus T skip one. Oh, 
Oh, it will be angry, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> At the very least, a few references uh, have to be broken, given that I just moved around some stuff. And then we're not even talking about, about crimes like this. I would hope that something like this exists, because it would make my life easier. The question is whether I actually need these these sort of intermediate files or whether I can just... But I think I do because I... I don't think the sidebar renders correctly otherwise. This is... I think this is somehow tied to the Sphinx theme that we use. But you know what? We'll find out in a moment. Maybe we can... There's some sort of initial version that we that we have in the end, then I'm happy with that, I guess. For now. Yikes. <laughs> Wait, what? Are these not included in any uh, TOC trees? Red wall? Well, I, I expected some sort of red wall, I'm not sure I... Talk tree contains reference to non-existing document guides star. Okay, that's this one. That's this one here. Can't I? Uh things to see tree uh glob. You can use globbing in talk tree directives, but by giving the glob black -like option. Well, sure. Nothing easier than that. Uh Indication has a problem for some reason. Wait. Indication is a problem? What? That's weird. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Wait, is he rendering the documentation? No, that wouldn't be so fast. And then tutorial... Ah, the tutorial thing I didn't change, I guess. Ah, these he probably doesn't find, right? I guess. Maybe we can also glob again. Oh, wow. Scary music. I have flashbacks to losing two Pokemon gym trainers. <laughs> Okay. Uh, should I, I, I think I immediately re-render. Viridian Forest. True, it's forest music. That looked way less red, actually. Open... Ah. Mm. Gatania Wald. Yep. Build HTML. Well, actually, 
stick could have opened the index. Okay, that doesn't look so bad. I have not changed the order here yet. But there's tutorials and guides yet. There's tutorials, thematic guides, frequently asked questions. The table of contents here is too detailed. I don't need a two level whatever here. But the idea was different anyhow. Should we categorize the FAQs? This sounds like Crypt from Cadence of Hyrule or Crypt of the Necrodancer. Yo, I could play Necrodancer at some point. I I love the, the Zelda version of it. It was pretty cool. I had fun playing that. And I think I never played uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Let's go to Viridian Forest together. <laughs> yep. Okay. I don't dislike this, I have to say. Troubleshooting should be moved. Generally speaking, I don't hate this. is empty now. I probably didn't re-render it. Kinda makes sense. Okay, I think this is not so bad. So one section tutorials with actual tutorials in them, one section thematic guides and one section frequently asked questions. That's good. The depth is not, not really great yet, but... Well. Um, let's delete and reorder stuff next. So I'll... Just briefly make sure that I we have added the appropriate files everywhere. Wait, how does the table of content look for configuration using text? Wait, is that correct? Where do I have the glob? In Tutorials, building blocks, deeper look, quick start. Yeah, actually, that's fine. But it probably works without the two layers. The order is kind of weird. No, it's probably not weird because this is called building blocks. This is called whatever, deeper look, output and config, and this is called quick start, so it's ordered alphabetically. Should probably reorder it so that, that it kind of appears in a, in a well, way that makes sense. Oh, it's actually very small, but sorry. Let's reorder the sidebar next. I feel like doing that right now. Okay, so this would be in where? Ah, I, I wanted to commit first. Jeez, I'm so... Glob. It's 
slash. Would it work if I just put an, an asterisk? I'm not sure. And uh, I'm kind of scared about that. Do you know what? Let's try. Because I'm kind of worried if I put a forward slash here that it breaks for Windows. The rest is not really... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure this is so, so, so... Robust as I would like it to be. And if there's just an asterisk, then the chances of something being parsed incorrectly are much lower. I mean, that looked nice. That seems okay. Did I even save it before I rendered? Try again. Just once more. Make sure. Thinking. There we go. Uh. Tutorials and guides. Tutorials. I mean, it looks okay. The level is not. Uh, the, the the depth is not. Great, but I think this works well enough. Okay, let's commit. Um, splitting tutorials. Next, what's next? Uh, reordering stuff so we can close these down for a moment I don't think I will finish this today but uh, having it started so that people can have a discussion about it is maybe a good idea so what did we what did we say that makes sense the example gallery first examples then installation then tutorials and guides then the reference manual plugins then the change log reporting bugs is dead because we should move that to the contributing guide or the contributing section and then the code of conduct is there Good. Internals. Internals is definitely dead. Okay, it's gonna go back here. And now we should make sure that whatever changes we made here. So what did we delete? We deleted reporting bugs, which should be moved. Uh, 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 source git move reporting bugs to contributing contributing index thingy Doc strings references blah 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 p contributing reporting bugs let's put it over here or perhaps this should be on top because it's most important i don't know i feel like we should also well, clean out here a little bit so many things I would like to change, actually. 
Uh, reporting boxes has been moved. Check. And the internals one. Internals. This should just be deleted. Internals. Because we should just link to the corresponding page in our wiki if that's the thing that we want to do. The alternative would have been we move it into like a frequently asked question thingy. About internal, specifically about internal structure. Maybe we should do that. You know what? Then have a then I have a second thing for the FAQs, which is good. Let's move it there. Internals. We move the internals to FAQ. And then it's there. And then we rename the page from internal structure to um, where can I learn more about Manim's internal structure? Make the question, more of these, and there we go. I don't need to change anything in the FAQ uh, index because this is a expansion thing anyways. Good. Uh, what we do, we reordered the index and we moved some of the top level uh, sections elsewhere. Reorder, order, index. It's a sidebar. Uh, move some top level sections elsewhere. Okay. Examples, installation, tutorials and guides, reference, plugins, change log, contributing conduct. I'm happy with this. Much better than before. Now what I would like to do still is uh, putting some effort towards here and, and, and maybe writing one nice paragraph for each of these. Actually, I also want to rename some of the uh, config and output and config. We should rename this to output files and whoa, 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 whoa. Manim's output
Let's just name it output and configuration or configuring output. Configuring output files or Manim's output settings. I think that's okay. Using text. I wanted to rename that the longest time already to um, rendering text and formulas. Save. Uh, anything else? Tutorials. Quick start is good, but should be on top, so we have to probably order these manually, I guess. Or we rename it to something. My name's Buildings Blocks is probably an okay name for now. Alright, I want to move the, the example out by creating a custom animation one. To be quite honest, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to rewrite it based on the based on my video guide. But not now. I won't do that right now. I should maybe. Okay, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now and maybe we'll come back to it. Um, rename some tutorials. Oh, should stage them as well. Okay, let's 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 just push this for a moment and see how unhappy uh, pre commit CI and, and and our general repository is. Git push minus u. Uh, my thing improve improve doc structure go. And then we create a new pull request. Uh, we'll make it a draft. Improved structure of documentation. What does this pull request change? This improves the. This is a proposal for improving the structure of our documentation. Notably, the, fo the following things are the biggest changes: colon one, the tutorials section is split into a tutorials is renamed to tutorials and guides which has three subsections tutorials guides wait is it called guides or did I name it thematic guides I forgot in the tutorials, index guides, thematic guides, guides, and FAQ, which is probably then called frequently asked questions now that I think of it. Where is my thing? There it is. No, wait. 
Where's my... Oh, there. Uh, free... Frequently asked questions. The landing page finally gets some content. Or at least the idea. Not finished yet. Uh, just proposing a basic structure. Um, did I change anything else? I don't think I did, did I? Rename, reorder, splitting, deeper look. Uh, some tutorials have tutorials and guides have been renamed. Anything else? Uh, some pages reporting bugs and what was the second one? Internal structure have been moved from the top level to appropriate sub levels. Uh, contributing and FAQ respectively. Please note that this is currently a draft and up for this. Question. Our documentation is, however, in dire need of a rework to make place for finding certain information a bit easier. One particular thing I'd like to have, I'd like to investigate, is writing a short pieces of information for the FAQ section in Markdown instead of rest, as I think this might encourage people who sit down and answer one of the recurring questions appearing in our Discord to paste their explanation explanation to this section to the in a proper PR to this section it might make sense to introduce 
subcategories for the documentation uh, for the FAQ. But I'm not quite sure yet which ones would be useful. So this is without. So they are missing from there for now. Anything else? We created new section FAQ, we did that. We removed the internal structure page. Or well, we moved it to somewhere else. Uh, we split the tutorial things. We removed the bug things. So all that remains on my list was rewriting the content on the landing page. Good. Links to edit or change documentation pages. Uh, TBA. Draft. Doc. Uh, 2732 so if we go here then go to builds and then take this one view docs copy edit and add this here then we put 2732 here 2732 here easy I think it's fair to just link the main thing okay I mean, this was this was kind of nice. I enjoyed that. And I think this will be useful for people again. To have a clear distinction on where to find information. Should have done that a long time ago to just, well, start with this sort of uh, structuring much sooner. In the end, what I would like to do is whenever I sit, so that's that's why I wrote this little paragraph on, on, on the FAQ. That happens quite often to me that I that I sit down and, and, and look up um, how to answer some question in the in the Discord. And in the past, I feel I answered the same questions over and over for some of them. And it would be nice to write that up once and then and then just paste it somewhere where we can link to. And in theory, there is the um, there's the wiki where we could do stuff like that as well. But it's kind of nice to have it in the documentation, I guess. At least I know I would I would add stuff to the to the FAQ, and it might also be some sort of, of entry drug for for new contributors to uh, add more information to our FAQ. So that's. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth to have something like that. Yo, chat. It's late, so I'll stop this here. No gaming today again, Sage. Um, and it will be a while until I. It will be a while until I uh, will be back online again. Um, because I'm, as I've mentioned, I'm traveling starting tomorrow. And I'll be back on Sunday. 
but there won't be a stream on Sunday because I have to go to work on Monday and I think I only returned like 11 or so, so I don't think I will be able to manage that. Um, but yeah. Where do you travel to? Uh, Norway. We do a little Norway trip. So we, we just like a whole tour. We we start in, in from Uppsala. We travel up north, and then we cross over the the border to Norway and uh, stay in Trondheim, and then from there we travel back down, and in Oslo, and then from there back to uh, back to Uppsala. So yeah, sounds fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be, uh, but it, it does mean that that there will probably be no streams and stuff. <laughs> I'll I'll probably. Oh, hey data nerd, thanks for <laughs> thanks for rating. Yo people. Hope you didn't stream. Oh, well, I did stream. What do you mean? <laughs> welcome, everyone. Welcome. Last minute, right? <laughs> didn't end stream. Not yet, but I was about to. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what have you guys been doing tonight? So I've been I've been working on a new structure for our documentation for Manim. Not sure whether you uh, whether you're familiar with the project. Uh, you can take a look at. I have a command thingy. It's a Python animation framework, uh, which does nice things usually sometimes. I've been doing some coding with Twitter API. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds really fun. Actually used money in the past, it's super cool. Thanks. Glad you liked it. It's it's really pretty fun usually. Um and working on it is, is fun too most of the time. <laughs> and yeah, so for today I was looking at basically improving I've I've merged some some open pull requests that have been reviewed and I just made sure that, that everything keeps going, I guess. There's a lot of there's a lot of pull requests still open, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe we can close some over the next week or so. I hope we I hope we are able to. Um, yeah, I should I should show something. I should so, show some some manim stuff while you guys are here. Uh, let me show you something that I've made recently. Hmm. Wait, where are I? Ah. Where? What can I show you guys? You want to see... I can show you the dragon. I'm sure you like the dragon. Yo, look at that, guys. So Manim takes some code and renders an animation. And this here shows how the dragon curve, which is a fractal curve, is, is, is unfolded. You basically draw a line, and you duplicate and rotate, and that's what you do. And you repeat it until something that looks cool appears. Nice thing about Manim is that animations like these don't really requ require so much code. It's It's... I don't know, this is probably... I don't even know. I love these animations. Me too. <laughs> Me too, it's why I... I kind of like to play around with these from time to time. There's a second one I can show you. Wait, there's a second one. 
I tried to make a Sierpinski thing at some point. Yeah, I think this came also quite nice. So does any 3 v one b viewer? Yeah, true, 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 true. He released a new video today. Uh, lots of interactive stuff in there again. So I, I guess we, we're gonna get more people. Yo, thanks for following uh, Trueliner and DataNet. Thanks. I appreciate it. I guess we're gonna get uh, lots of lots of people asking how to do interactive stuff again with Manim. I actually produce a... I'll actually produce a... Uh, video tutorial on uh, certain mining stuff on YouTube uh, and the last episode I did was on interactive animations so that's, that's pretty cool it's not so hard to make actually I could show you that if you if you stick around for a minute longer let me go to my other directory which I just cleaned up earlier hmm Oh wait, I deleted that, I think. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did delete that. The Dykeman animation? Yo, all of my animations that I that I have on stream are, are generated with Manim, so also my these things. These are these are some of the ones I, I like the most, kinda. It's pretty fun stuff. Also, my old ones are somewhere. Let me check. Mm. Should be this one. Yeah, right. I like these these sort of graph animations. They are just so I don't know. I can I can look at them for a long time without getting bored. It's kind of kind of good for uh, for uh, this sort of screen, I think. <laughs> and again, uh, not too much code actually. I love I love money for for these sort of things. Look really crispy. Yeah, yeah, I think so as well. I think so as well. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a. Uh, uh, tutorials on how to get started I can with Manim or if you want to check out how difficult it is to how many different graphs did you actually render for this scene <laughs> guess <laughs> I think it's just three or four but you don't notice that they that they are the same because you could you, you don't remember for so long <laughs> no it's it's actually just three or four <laughs> But I could have generated more. It's it's like uh, <laughs> there's like one function that, that generates the triangulation graph like that, and could have called it for more at least these three or two, three or four times. Um, but well, let's go back to our dike paths. So yeah, if you if you wanna check out the library, um, give try manim community a try I'll give it a spin I don't know uh, it's an interactive uh, notebook and you can just run it in your browser don't need to install anything and if you decide you like it and want to generate uh, animate uh, stuff faster then you can just try to install uh, the, the library itself and by then you might even have a nicer structure documentation perhaps We'll see. Oh, but maybe that's a bit too optimistic. I'm not sure how fast this, the stuff that I worked on today will get merged. <laughs> oh, and if you if you want to see if you want to see um, if you're the, the type for video tutorials, then I I shamelessly plug my my own YouTube tutorials. <laughs> I guess you would stumble over them anyhow if you would search for. Um, Manim on, on YouTube. So you can just... I could just link the first episode. I should make a command for that. Um, 
Wait, I do have a YouTube command, I think. Uh, but let me just link the video because that's lame otherwise. Uh, there is the video. Wait, I too fast, too slow. Where is it? There is it. Copy link. So here's the the link to the first episode in my in my uh, video tutorial thingy for Manim. You can also watch that work along however you want. I also have some some interactive word, uh, notebooks that that go with these uh, tutorials. So check out the video description if you're into that sort of stuff. And yeah, I actually was about to end because it's like. Uh, 1.30 a.m. here and I should get some rest before tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry to you with the host at the end of stream. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I mean, hosting is much appreciated. And I don't really mind talking a few minutes longer about the thing I like to do on stream, so... <laughs> Actually, thank you very much for rating again. Um, yeah. As I've said, I'll, I won't be here um, over the next few days, so I'll probably next stream will be in about a week or so, next Monday or so, because I'm on vacation until then and traveling, so... But then we will do more Manim stuff on stream and maybe some gaming as well. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for staying around and... See you guys again soon. Have a nice evening, everyone. And yeah, enjoy enjoy exploring mining if you if you if you're doing that. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye bye.